At 38 years old, I found myself fully addicted to heroin, pregnant, and dating a gang member. My son was born drug addicted, and um, I, I did drugs every day that I was pregnant with him. I didn't care that he was laying in the hospital, um, abandoned and neglected from the day that he was born. On December 7th of 2014, I was in the Save-A-Lot grocery store in downtown Cumberland, and I just shot heroin, and um, I felt like I needed to do more, so I ate a fentanyl patch with my son's father, and we both overdosed in the Save-A-Lot store. He was in one aisle, I was in the other, and our son was in the stroller. Three days after that overdose, um, two, two sheriff's department officers in the Department of Social Services came to my driveway where I walked my son down the driveway and put him in a state vehicle and did not know where he was going to go. And I still didn't care. Um, I went and bought more heroin that day. I came back to Allegheny County where I went on um, a crime spree. I was arrested um, seven times within a three month period. My total charges accumulated to about 60 years in prison. But the worst part of all of that was the state of Maryland had decided to file termination of my parental rights while I was incarcerated. My family had known some uh, ministers that worked in um, the prison ministry, and the day that these pastors showed up to meet me in a jail visit, um, I got saved in the Allegheny County Detention Center, and it was the best decision that I've ever made. The Hope Home Director from City Reach came to do a visit because there, there was the thought of if I were to be released, what does the next step look like? And I was willing to do whatever it took. I um, came to the Hope Home um, after my extradition hearing to West Virginia, I was released. When I walked through those doors, it was like no other place I'd ever been. I just really, I really started to believe in myself and believe that there was a purpose and a plan for my life and that, that I could make a change and that, and that there was hope for me. Since graduating the home, a year to the date after I had signed over the rights to my son, I received a letter in the mail inviting me to come meet him for the first time as a sober mom. So in May of 2017, I got to hold my little boy for the first time. And when I say God can restore all things, he can. And God restored that for me, and I am so grateful for that. But I'm forever grateful for the people that just love me through my pain and love me into my purpose. I now work on staff here at City Reach and Community Connections. Um, I also teach children's church and I coach basketball for the city kids. I know that there are a lot of people's lives who have been affected by addiction, um, whether the victim of addiction or the addict, um, mothers, um, pregnant mothers that are addicted, um, mothers with children. I am living proof that all of this can be restored through the hope that only Jesus Christ can offer.